decided that I would share with you guys my haul from Save A Lot. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided that I would share with you guys my haul from Save A Lot. I did some shopping today and got quite a few items so I wanted to share with you guys my savings and what I did. I will share at the end a really great bargain that I found there so make sure to stay tuned till the end of this video because I will share with you what I found which I think every store does this. I'm not positive but I think they do so you'll want to make sure to stay tuned that way you can find out a great deal that you can get at Save Lot every single week and I'm sure it's something that you guys would love to have for your family too. So make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. That way you won't miss another one of my bargain videos or any of my videos. I do a lot of lifestyle vlogs. Um, I do cleaning videos and just a lot of motherhood related content that I'm sure you'll enjoy. So make sure to uh, hit that red subscribe button down below and don't forget also turn on your notification bell because that's the way that you'll be notified every time that I post my new videos because I try to post on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays but with being in nursing school sometimes it's hard to stay on that schedule so if your um, notification bell's on you won't miss another video. So let's get into my Save A Lot grocery haul haul guys okay so I laid out everything on the floor just so it would be easier to show you all so to start off with I got this big value package it has two dollars instant savings of meat and then I got let's see I got these two Dutch farms um, New York extra sharp cheddar cheese and I got two because it was two for four dollars so I got two of the sharp cheddar cheeses and then I got some taco seasoning because I plan to probably make some tacos tonight our family loves to have tacos it's kind of a staple in our house so I picked up one of these and then I was so excited guys they have not had caramel dipping sauce all season at save a lot and so I finally got some at a pretty good price I think it was about $3.59 um, so that's what I got to go with our apples because I don't like apples that much guys but if I have caramel dipping sauce I can eat a lot of them and I mean the apples are quite healthy so I got that thought that was very festive okay and now coming over to this I got some sour cream because I thought those would, or I thought the sour cream would go well with the tacos. So, picked up some of this and I got a pretty big container just because we like to have it with uh, crackers and we also like it with like chili. So, I mean, we go through this pretty fast. So, I got a bigger container of it. And then I was excited to find um, some Caesar salad dressing because I've been trying to eat more healthier and I know the salad dressing isn't healthy guys, but the salad is. So I picked up some Caesar salad dressing and then I was out of creamer, so I got some French vanilla. They didn't have anything like peppermint yet, and so I had to go with something that was just, you know, basic. But I hope they get their peppermint in soon because I am obsessed with um, peppermint creamer for, like, Christmas time. Okay, so now over here... I got some apple butter and I was so excited to find this guys I was like how festive is that to have apple butter instead of you know uh, jam or jelly so I picked up some apple butter it was a little bit more pricey but still I thought it was a good find and Emily is singing in the background guys having her watch cartoons um, or not really even cartoons but uh, Disney music is like the only thing that will entertain her while I am doing a video so 
I just put that on for her for a few minutes so I could show you guys the groceries. Okay, so I got just one tomato, and that's because we don't eat a lot of tomatoes, but I needed it for my tacos tonight. Okay, and then I got some cinnamon sticks, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these for actual, um, I don't know, like drinks or stuff like that. I might just use them for a display um, or a craft, but yeah, Save a Lot has cinnamon sticks, guys, and these are only a buck, so a really good find if you even want to decorate with them. I thought these were were really cute and sorry if it's sounding weird I have my rubber bands in for my braces and so I feel like I talk with a slur but anyhow and guys I found pumpkin pie spice this was like five bucks at Walmart and this is only a dollar so if you want pumpkin pie spice I know it's a little late for this season but if you want that make sure to pick some up for next year at save a lot because they have it and it's only a buck Okay, so new, now moving on, I always am wanting baked beans, and we don't have them at the house, so I just picked them up, just kind of a random item, but they were only about $1.50, and it's a pretty big container, so a good find. And then over here, I have the cheese bites, and these are the white cheddar. Now, these are store brand. Flip it over here. These are store brand, so I'm not sure how good they're going to taste, but I thought I would try them at least. I don't like the Walmart store brand, so these might be the same way, but we'll have to see. I feel like Ritz is the only kind you can get, but comment down below if you think that um, the off-brand white cheddar are just as good, or if it's just me. Maybe it's all in my mind, but I feel like Ritz are much better than just a store brand white cheddar cheese bites is what these are called. Okay, so over here, I have some healthy items, <laughs> and then not so healthy, but these are healthy. So I picked up some spinach, because I think we're almost out of spinach. So I just got some that's already pre, um, I mean, it's already pre-made and ready to cook. It doesn't need washed or anything like that, so easy. I might actually be making a Caesar salad for lunch today, because that sounds really good. And then I got some, let's see what these are. I think these are, I'm reading upside down, but they're Red Delicious apples, and it was only about $1.70 for all of these, so really good find. Okay, and then I got some of our staple crunchy granola bars, and the oats and honey is what I really like, and these are pretty inexpensive. You get 12 bars, and these are only a little over a dollar. And then I also got some taco shells, and we don't usually use the hard ones, but I'll let you know why I got the hard ones later on in this video, so make sure to keep watching. Okay, and then I got some meat sauce because I found that there is a great recipe that I made up with meat sauce for chili, so make sure that if you want to see that chili recipe that I just made last night, that you leave me a comment down below and I'll try to make that chili recipe because it is just amazing and I want to share it with you guys in another video. So make sure to comment if you want to see that and I will definitely get that video out to you guys soon. Okay, so I got some mild salsa. And we just go through salsa so fast in our family. So I got some salsa and I got um, also some taco sauce. And we also like the mild for this. But this is only like a little over a dollar. So it's a good price for this much. It's pretty big. Okay. And then over here, see I told you it's not so healthy on this side. Some salt and vinegar. And these are like $2.50, so they're pretty good priced. It's just a store brand that they carry at Save a Lot. And then I got Doritos because I have found that you can't get off-brand Doritos. There's just nothing that compares to them. Okay, now this was my favorite, guys. I got the mocha iced coffee. I've been wanting some for a long time, and I just decided to um, buy it this time. So it was like $3.50, but I mean, you get a half gallon, and it's definitely cheaper than Starbucks. So this is amazing, too. If you do like iced coffee, it's really good. I would highly recommend it. I tried it on the way home. 
Okay, so then over here I have some bread because I plan to make more sandwiches this week and so I needed more bread. And I just got um, the cheapest white bread, nothing special. Okay, now over here I have tortilla chips, bite size, and these were also about $2.50. <laughs> more salsa. I got three things of salsa because it was three for five dollars. And then I got celery stock. We love celery in our family. We eat so much of it. So I needed some more of this. And that was only 79 cents, guys. That's a good find. And then let's see here. I have some butter rounds. And these are okay to get um, off brand. These taste just the same as Ritz. So these are a good find. Okay, and this one bag I never got into yet. So let's see what's in here. I have the lasagna cheese. And I think I've showed this in another haul. I love the lasagna cheese. And I got, let's see, two of those. Just because it was two for $4. And then I also got some tortilla shells. I wasn't sure if I needed some of these, but I needed... Um, to stock up on the soft shells, so I went ahead and bought some, even if we don't need them for tonight specifically. And then, what else? Oh yeah, I found some really good deli meat here. It was about $4.29, I think is the price, but if you look at the ingredients, it only has, am I reading this upside down? It only has turkey breast, white turkey, and water, and everything else is less than 2%, whereas a lot of the other ones have a ton of sodium, and this one, per four slices, it keeps blurring on me, but take my word for it, oh, there we go, per four slices, it only has uh, 420 milligrams of sodium, which is not bad for deli meat, usually it's much worse than that, so I was really pleased to find this. Okay, and I think then this last item in here, there's a few more, but the last item in here that I got are the mozzarella cheese sticks, and these are the string cheese, so you can pull it apart. So I got these just for lunches for me and my husband, just to eat quick on the go. Okay, now we're going to come over here, and over here I have just a couple more items. So I got some bananas because we just like bananas and I didn't get a ton because they do go bad so fast. I mean, I feel like they're um, more brown than they were when I got them at the store and that was like two hours ago, but anyhow. And then I got some more chips just to stock up on chips. We'll probably have enough for a couple weeks, but these are the barbecue flavor and then over here. I got the cheddar and sour cream, and we really like these. These are good. And then, let's see, this is the spaghetti that I got, and these are only a buck. So these are a really good deal uh, for the pasta. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you guys my secret find that I got at Dollar, or not Dollar Tree. I shopped Dollar Tree so much that I was thinking Dollar Tree, but it saved a lot. So make sure you keep watching because I'm going to share that with you guys now. Alrighty, so I was so excited because I finally went to the grocery store on a Tuesday and Save a Lot does a great thing that they will give you taco shells and your taco seasoning for free if you buy any kind of their family packs of meat. Now I don't know if this is just for our store, but I thought that this was a great find and I had to let you guys know because I know Save a Lot does different things like that. They do um, also Senior Discount Day. They just do a lot of different things. So make sure you check out your local Save a Lot and see what they have. Because, yeah, I got both of these for free, which would have been maybe $1.50, 2 bucks total. So it does save you a little bit of money if you're going to buy tacos anyway. So I thought it was awesome that I could get the meat and then get these two things free. 
So let me know um, in the comments down below what your favorite item is at Save-A-Lot or Aldi that saves you a ton of money because Save-A-Lot and Aldi are my go-to. Actually, it could be any store. If you have something at Walmart that's a great buy or Kroger um, or any of the other stores, make sure to leave me a comment because I love finding a good bargain and helping you guys out by seeing other people's comments down below. So make sure to let me know and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy seeing my grocery hauls because that's the only way that I know by your thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Alright loves, I'll see you next time. Bye!